Hello guys again. This is my second experiment, the B part. And here I need to design a form like this, which they have given. Just the personal details and the text boxes here, and a date box here, and then here the address. This is the text area, a normal text, and here the list, a drop down list, and again. Here a table again, check boxes and then text boxes. That's it. And here the progress bar. And I need to just put a, okay. I need to upload a file. I, I mean, I mean, I must be able to upload a file. Okay, let me show you my web page. Yeah, here it is. It is my web page. Yeah, here you can. Just yes, write the name. Okay, let me write it correctly. Okay, let me call David. Middle name. That's it. Okay. And here comes a date. And then in the drop down calendar, you can just select any day from this. And then here the gender, you can select male or female. Anything. Okay. Then. Here the progress bar, and if I'm done with this, uh, that means I'm done with the 20% of my form. Uh, I mean, I filled my 25% of my form, and here comes the uh, address. Address it, actually it is a text area. We you can see the difference between text, text, normal text box, and the text area. It, it seems a uh, big, looks big, and here comes the drop-down list. Yeah, state, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, and the zip code. Uh, only five digits only. You can just enter the only five digits. Okay. And then with my 40%, and then telephone number, you can just give some telephone number, mobile number, email, and a website, valid URL, and then that's it in there. Okay, education details here, check boxes. You can just check it or uncheck it. And here the text box again, and then here again a drop down list. And here a calendar again, ending here and starting here, percentage. Yeah, now that's it. Let me show you my coding actually. Yeah, this is my coding. Yeah, this is my. I just I have just, just given this NBSP just to give a space between the particular this first name and the text box. I mean the text and the actual actual text box. Let me show you that. Yeah, can you see the space here? And this is because of that NBSP actually. Uh, I don't know actually. I forgot the full form that NB NBSP. Okay, now here, yeah, normal text box. You can see that input type equals to chair text and normal and this placeholder. I have uh, told that in my last tutorial actually, not tutorial, uh, just a video. Okay. Uh, and the middle name and the date of birth yeah type we need to give this type as date actually okay and age in years and here the placeholder 18 that's it and the progress bar yeah this is, you saw that progress bar progress bar there, right then here the address and basically spacing and a city there and then Okay, zip code. Okay, and uh, finally comes the education details. The table I use my I use table here for the proper alignment. Okay, and then uh, this is the first row. I mean the head part, the, the qualification, board university, starting year, ending year. Okay, and then the comes the checkbox. Whenever checkbox comes, we need to just Give the type as checkbox, and we need to name the particular checkbox. Actually, we will be using that name afterwards. Okay, and then normal checkboxes here, and then coming to this drop down list here, we need to use a tag called select and uh, inside that option. This selected choose actually is given it will be displaying there let me show you that so they can understand that 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. You see that? This this is appearing on the top of the list. Yeah. Okay. Now I just need to give my options here. That's it. And the input type equals to date. Checkbox again and all. Okay, fine, fine. The same part, same options and checkboxes there. Okay, let me run and show that the last time. Yeah, this is my page here. And here, yeah, true, I didn't explain you that choose I and mean, is that yeah. See here? Yeah. Input type equals to button and submit a resume type equal to reset and this is, this is used to create a button and the value I mean what value must be there on the button this explains that okay that's it I think yeah the other one is that uh, there is a yeah file we need to type just give we need to give that type equals to file so that we can upload anything okay uh, I did explain you that let's choose file yeah you can upload a file any type of file I mean do that specific type of file so that's it right done with my video